All right, let's take a look at equations with variables on both sides. So the only difference is that the variables on both sides, we've done all these other different types of equations. As always, we want to get rid of parentheses first. We can combine like terms on each side. Then we're going to move all the variables to one side of the equation. It does not matter which side. And then everything else is the same, moving the constants and multiplying or dividing by the coefficients. So let's look at an example here. Number one, drawing my line, highlighting my variable. On this side, I've got an x. I also have an x on this side, okay? So that's where things get a little bit tricky. First thing I'm looking for is, are there parentheses? No. Second thing I'm looking for is on the right side, can I simplify anything? Nope. On the left side, can I simplify anything? Nope. So now we're going to move to moving the variables together. What I personally like to do is to keep my x's or whatever variable positive. So I look and I say, okay, if I move my x's to the left, they're going to stay positive. But again, either way, it doesn't matter. So if I subtract 5x from both sides, on the right side, 5x minus 5x cancels. I'm left with 4. On the left side, 7x minus 5x is 2x. Now we're back to a simple one-step equation. x is being multiplied by 2, so the opposite is to divide both sides by 2. Those 2's cancel. We are left with x equals 2. So I quickly just want to show that even if you had done it the other way, it will still work. So let's say, just as an example here, I still have my same equation, 7x equals 5x plus 4. If I had decided to move my 7x to the other side, that would work. I could subtract 7x from both sides, cancels on this side, which means 7x minus 7x is 0. 5x minus 7x is negative 2x plus 4. Now it just is going to take a few more steps. I want to get rid of my constants to the opposite side. So I would subtract 4 from both sides. Those cancel out. I'm left with negative 4 equals negative 2x. I would need to divide by 2. Negative 2, sorry. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. So either way, you get to the same answer. This one was less steps and less negatives, which is why I chose that route. So let's look at number 2. Draw my line down my in, uh, equation sign. First, looking for parentheses. There aren't any. I don't need to worry about that. There's nothing to simplify on the left. There's nothing to simplify on the right. So I'm going to combine my variables. If I move my 3x to the left, it's going to stay positive. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So on this side, my x's cancel. I'm left with negative 2. Be careful with that. Equals over here, 5x minus 3x is 2x. Bring down our plus 4. Now we've got a basic two-step equation. We've got plus 4. So the opposite would be to subtract 4 from both sides. Those cancel each other out. We are left with 2x equals negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And last step, x is being multiplied by 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And we get x equals negative 3. Okay, let's look at number three. Draw our line down our equation, our equal sign. Again, I want to combine the p-values. It might be harder to see with all these negatives here which way to move it. I can see that if I move my 3p, these are going to become positives. Again, doesn't matter which way you do it. It should work both ways. So I'm going to get rid of my minus 3p by adding 3p to both sides. It should cancel out over here. Minus 3p plus 3p cancels. I'm left with 12. And on the left side, 
I'll bring down my 8, and then negative p plus 3p is going to be positive 2p. Now we've got a two-step equation. I can, if you can see the line, get rid of my 8 by subtracting 8 from both sides. Those cancel out. We are left with 2p equals 12 minus 8 is 4. P is being multiplied by 2. The opposite is to divide both sides by 2. And we get P equals 2. So now let's look at some that have parentheses. So as soon as I see that those are, there are parentheses, I'm going to simplify that first. So I'm going to distribute the 2 to both terms. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times positive 4 is positive 8. Bring down the equal sign, bring down everything on the right side. Now we're back to our variables on both sides equation. I'm going to move the 4x to the right because that'll stay positive. So if I have 4x, I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Cancel those out. We are left with 8 equals 6x minus 4x is 2x bring down our minus 6. Now we've got a two-step equation. I'm going to get rid of my minus 6 by adding 6 to both sides. Those cancel out. We are left with 2x equals 8 plus 6 is 14. Last up, x is being multiplied by 2. The opposite is to divide by 2, and I get x equals 7. A little bit longer parentheses problems. We got them on both sides, so I'm going to do those simultaneously first. So just being careful, over here I'm going to be distributing, and here I'm going to be distributing. So on the left side, the number we are distributing is positive 5. So positive 5 times positive 3y is 15y. Positive 5 times negative 9 is negative 45. Bring down the minus 12 equals, bring down my 12, now I'm going to distribute. We are distributing a negative 7 to a positive y, which is negative 7y, and we're distributing a negative 7 to a negative 9, which is a positive 63. Now, before I start moving the variables and the constants, I'm going to combine like terms. So when I look here, I see that I can combine. Over here, I've got a negative 45 and a negative 12, which can combine to negative 57. Bring down my 15y. Over here, I've got a positive 12 and a positive 63 which can combine to positive 75, bring down the minus 7y. Now we're back to an equation with variables on both sides. So I am going to combine my variables. I'm going to move the 7y to the left to keep it positive. So if I have a negative 7y, I'm going to add 7y to both sides. On the right side, those should cancel to leave you just with 75 equals. On the left side, 15y plus 7y is 22y. Bring down the minus 57. Now we've got a two-step equation. Get rid of our constant. Move it to the other side, away from the variable. Minus 55, I'm going to get rid of it by adding, sorry, minus 57, I'm going to get rid of it by adding 57 to both sides. I'm left with 22y equals 132. Then y is being multiplied by 22, so I'm going to divide both sides by 22. It's going to cancel on this side to just y, and on the right side, it's going to equal 6. One more just with parentheses, then we're going to look at some special cases. So I'm going to draw my line down the e equal sign, 
and we're going to distribute. Being careful when you're distributing on both sides with what number you're distributing. So I'm going to bring down the negative 3x, and then I'm distributing a negative 4 to both. So negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16x. Negative 4 times negative 8 is positive 32. On the right side, I'm distributing a positive 3 to a negative 8x, which is going to be negative 24x, and a positive 3 to a negative 1, which is going to be negative 3. Then before I do anything, I'm going to combine like terms. So on the left side, I've got negative 3x and negative 16x, which is negative 19x. Bring down the plus 32. Over here, there's nothing to combine, so I'm just going to rewrite that as is. Now I can move my variables to one side and my constants to the other. So I've got negative 19, negative 24. I'm going to move this negative 24 to the left to keep it positive. Again, doesn't matter which way you do it. It should still work. You just might have some more negatives. On this side, it should cancel to leave you with just negative 3. On the left side, negative 19x plus 24x is going to be positive 5x. Bring down my plus 32. Now we've got a two-step equation. I'm going to get rid of my constant of 32 by subtracting 32 from both sides. Cancels here. I'm left with 5x equals negative 3 minus 32 is negative 35. And last step, x is being multiplied by 5, so the opposite is to divide both sides by 5. I get x equals negative 7. All right, so now let's look at some special cases. So this first one, we're just going to solve like normal, and then we're going to see what makes it special. So I see my parentheses. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute. So on the left side, nothing's happening, so I'm just going to rewrite that. On this side, we're going to do 5, positive 5, times positive m, which is 5m, and positive 5 times negative 7, which is negative 30. 5, and then bring down our minus 3m. Before I start moving from one side to the other, I'm going to combine. I have a 5m and a negative 3m that can be combined on the right side. So left side staying the same, 2m plus 5 equals, on the right side, 5m minus 3m is 2m, and bring down our minus 35. You already might be looking at this and be like, hmm, that kind of looks weird. 2m plus 5 is the same thing as 2m minus 35. Well, let's keep solving. We're going to put our variables together, right? So let's say I move this 2m to the other side. 2m minus 2m cancels out to just 5. Over here, 2m minus 2m also cancels out, and we are left with just negative 35. Does that make sense? Is 5 equal to negative 35? No, that is not true. So this is what we would call no solution. It does not work. You cannot get a correct answer. So let's look at number eight. Same thing, I'm going to distribute first. So on the left side, I'm distributing a positive 3 times n, which is positive 3n and a positive 3 times 1, which is 3. Bring down the minus 5 equals, bring down our 3n minus 2. Before I do anything, I'm going to simplify. So on the left side, my 3 and my negative 5 can combine. So I bring down my 3n. Positive 3 minus 5 is negative 2 equals, the right side stays the same. Now, just like the last one, you might look at this and be like, okay, I'm noticing something. But let's combine our variables. So I'm going to subtract 3n from both sides. Just like the last one, 3n minus 3n cancels. 
we are left with negative 2 equals over here, 3n minus 3n cancels, we are left with negative 2. Is negative 2 equal to negative 2? Yeah, that's a true statement. So instead of no solutions, it's actually that all solutions will be true. No matter what number you plug in for n, it will remain a true statement.